The Brotherhood of the Bone Collector is brought to you by Bushnell. Magnify life. Put your T-bone. Oh, shit. Well, Blake Shelton and Randall Lambert is going to be in camp with us. Always in the back of your mind, there's a chance that the giant could step out at any moment. <laughs> Life is hunting, being in the woods, spending time with family and friends. There should be no excuses for any hunter to have to make for him having a chance to enjoy and celebrate the outdoors. Fellowship, camaraderie, that's the whole deal right there. Almost everybody I can think of in my family hunts or in some way celebrates the outdoors. My father's a hunter, my grandfather was a hunter, my uncles are hunters. Plain and simple, we love to hunt. I'm a hunter and I'm proud to be one. The culture I stand for, it's sometimes does get lost in today's society. When in fact today's society was built on the culture of the hunter. A hunter is more than just a predator. A hunter is a provider. A caretaker. He's a leader. I will never make excuses for who I am. It was the way I was born. I'm, I'm a, a hunter. hunter. A, I'm bone a bone collector. collector. For the bone collectors crew, this is probably the most highly anticipated week in whitetail hunting that you can have because we're going to Kansas. We're hunting a rut with our bows. We basically got a caravan going on right now heading to Stafford, Kansas to hunt with Tom McMillan. We wait all year for this opportunity to hunt big Midwestern whitetails in the rut. We're here. It begins tonight. Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert was going to be in camp with us. And, uh, you know, you always wonder what kind of people are going to be in camp. And what's funny about this, we didn't invite Blake and Miranda to come. They were going regardless of us doing a TV show up there. They're hunters. They're just like us. All right. Looking good, man. What are you doing here? I, what are you doing here? Can I hunt? If, if you, do you mind? No, I don't. Um, I got one tree over there, it's pretty slick, but you could put a climber on it. Can I hunt that pole right there? Man, that's what I was saying. Tom was telling me they've been coming out here uh, to the edge of this arena. Wind's right. And uh, yeah, be perfect. Nicholas doing, Mutt doing, right brother? there. Like Nick, good to see you, good Nick. To meet you. This is Miranda. How, How are you, Miranda? How are you? Nice to meet you. Hey, Miranda. Long road Big buck killer. How are you? See you again. Where's your T-bone? Yeah, we're just us queued up now. Oh, shucks, you remembered me. Nicholas, ain't that pretty cool? Golly. You're going to have to rename it. He's already collected all the bones. That way you're going to name it. Blake and I have been friends for a long time, and I was really looking forward to seeing him again. So you got Michael Waddell, and you got Travis or T-Bone, Nick Munt. I was really excited to meet Blake and Miranda. I'd seen Blake a lot, you know, hunting with Waddell and, and some of my other friends in the industry. And I gotta tell y'all, if you think Michael Waddell's crazy, you ain't seen crazy until you spent some time with this guy. I knew he was a nut, similar to myself, and, and I knew we were gonna have a blast in camp and really hit it off. Looking good. Huh? You looking good. You think I'm looking good? Yeah. Even if you think that about another dude, you shouldn't say it. I'm comfortable with it, aren't you? I know I'm not comfortable with it. Why? Because you're looking me right in the eye telling me I look good. I think that's the way I feel, brother. I know that's how you feel, and it's gross. I don't care, I don't care if this is the year 2009 or 10, whatever it is, eight. Keep you stay on your side of the house. No love from the shelf, man. 
This is a really cool camp for a lot of different reasons. One is, is not many times this happens, but we had two different production companies there. We had the Surf and Turf guys there. We're producing a bone collector show. And then we had, you know, Philip Culpepper and the Road Trips crew there from Realtree. So, you know, I was hunting along with uh, Miranda Lambert for the Road Trip show. Nick and T-Bone, the rest of the guys, was, was hunting for the bone collector show. But we're all in camp having a good time. <laughs> one thing for sure, we're all family. We're definitely all bone collectors. Blake's actually the one that introduced me to Michael. And uh, it's, it, it's the same way with Michael. It, it, it's easy to be a friend and a hunting buddy with someone that loves it as much as you do. I mean, it's always a blast to hunt with Tom and his crew and the people that come by there, and I'm always looking forward to going back. I first met Tom McMillan and his family back in 2003. I first met Blake, like I meet so many other people in the business, just as a client. And I had an incredible hunting experience here and, and also became uh, really close with, with he and his family. And It turned into a friendship. Uh, we look forward to it every year. To. It seems like you just scrambling, trying to get out there to the woods and running behind. We like a bunch of youngins running to the playground, you know, in, in, in elementary school. Does this have the windage? It has the windage. We'll don't need the windage today. Oh, I think Michael's already there. Did Michael leave without us? That's son of a huh? Michael! My Michael! Hey, one good three-day harvest. We only got one day. Can we go? Hey, where's my come here, Michael? Give me a bottle of that come here, Michael, and dump it in the truck. Is it time? Past time? Let's do it. I'm ready. This is it. First night, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I think old Bone had the itchiest finger of us all, man. It, I mean, Bone was the first guy to get to camp and ask how much dough tags were. Bone was just ready to lower the boom. All right, man, this is sweet. What's this stand doing out here in the middle of nowhere? These deer in Kansas like to embed in the CRP and they like to gravitate toward these single trees for some reason. like old Blake's got the green apple quick steps. When that flood comes, something's got to give. Well, everybody, you know, saw does and, and little bucks, but no, uh, no big shooters, you know, but they don't just walk by every, every sand all the time. The Fellowship of the Bone Collector is brought to you by Hoyt, Flexstone, Thompson Center, Daddy Moore, and by G5. seeing piles of does, but no bucks that were even close to being shooting. There's nothing like bow hunting in Kansas. Kansas, I think, represents Midwest as good as any state in the Midwest, just because, I mean, it's got everything. The Midwest is Definitely the ultimate in whitetail deer hunting. It's got, you know, the winter wheat fields. It's got the big CRP fields, the sanctuaries where these bucks can escape from any type of pressure. It's got corn. It's got soybeans. Unbelievable genetics. Always in the back of your mind, there's a chance that the giant can step out at any minute. Which all leads to just absolute freak nasty whitetails. You can always tell the caliber of deer in an area when you go to somebody's lodge by the heads they have hanging on their walls. And when I walked into Tom's lodge, man, I was just... I couldn't believe it, and I knew I was in Whitetail Mecca. Well, how about that? Oh, was your two ideas? One eight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can pay us back. One eighty divided by. We bought it. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. One eighty. Yeah. UPS delivery. Oh, I recognize that box. They said they were coming. 
The, the Alpha Max. I got the spirit of the world. It is light. Holy. Let Miranda touch it and rub luck on it. Yeah. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> Save weight there and it's a zero tolerance system because it funnels itself down in the inside there. Plus it has this back brace, which is, shoots like a straight riser. We're going to go rig one up, shoot it. And one of us is gonna strike with it tomorrow. Is it because you're the man? It's because I can't wait no longer. Here we are from the box. Done. Thing is sweet. It's nice. It feels good, don't it? It really does. Lightweight, no vibration, and it hit the dot. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. Yep. Couldn't wait no longer, man. I had to get it set up. Old Blake, now he decided that he was going to go back to the stand that I hunted the first afternoon of my hunt. Good luck, Blake. Good luck, you boys. This joker ain't right now. He'll do it. This boy was raised in Oklahoma, he likes me. That's a nice cow. I think there's better ones in this area. We'll pass him. Hope I don't regret that later. I think more people ought to practice good group therapy, T-Bone. It's what bonds the brotherhood, 10-4. Blake went back to a stand that I'd hunted the first two days that I was in Kansas, and we knew, I mean, this farm had some good bucks in it. It's funny, I was thinking, I bet your Blake is gonna have a good hunt in my stand, because the year before, I, Tom McMillan had hunted one of my stands and shot a 170, and I'd hunted that stand for five days straight, and then he hunts at one time and just throttles a monster. So I was wondering, I wonder if this could happen again. You know, every now and then you, you have those moments uh, where something great happens in your life. This may not be that, but I thought I would say that just in case it is. Tonight, I, I really don't have that good of a feeling about this area. I really think that he screwed me over. I don't think there's any big deer work in this area. I was just wondering if Blake was going to shoot a big deer out of the stand that I'd hunted two days prior. We've probably been sitting in the stand for about an hour and a half and I look back towards the north and I see a deer by himself coming out of the thicket. Well, for sure, this was a big buck. Looked like he was headed their way. See, making that scrape. He's making scrape.
wasn't much of a tracking job. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't know anybody that loves deer hunting more than this guy right here. I gotta call Tom, I know he's gonna be pumped. Sitting at the lodge, and finally, I get the call. I'm dying to get a hold of you. Hey, won't you come over here and pick up your old good buddy, Blake? <laughs> I don't know who's more excited, myself or Blake. <laughs> it happened again. Sure enough, Blake had shot a monster. Hey, Michael. There still is a deer here for you. He's about half the deer I shot, but there is a deer here for you. I was I was excited for Blake, man. In dead gum, it was a standard I'd hunted. Looks like Blake was the first one to draw blood, and man, I am glad that the ice got busted. And I believe in luck. I'm pretty superstitious. And dead gum, if it happened again, Tom had did it the year before. Now Blake's got a big old buck on the ground. <laughs> My goodness gracious. The wind was blowing here in Kansas the day he grew these antlers. This, it's almost like he grew two different horns. Look at that. You're looking at one, one happy, happy deer hunter. I love, I love hunting in Kansas. And I love it when Michael don't come to his stand. The Kansas Whitetail Control Office, just doing our part. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Doe. Thank you. Yes! And if there's one person more excited about me getting this buck, it's going to be Tom. Say it! <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> you really like me now, don't you? <laughs> okay, that's, Woo! that's enough. Sorry. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> he around to the camera and says, I got a deer, like, as if it was his first deer of his whole life, which is definitely not. That's so cool to me and encourages me because um, to see somebody that passionate and that excited about every deer, like it's their first deer they've ever gotten is awesome. I mean, it took him three years, but I guess the one he got, it was worth the wait. That ain't no air rifle. It's a Gamo adult air rifle, T-Bone. I love Gamo. So Blake killed one, huh? Tom told me, called me, said Blake killed one. I think you ought to start just sticking in a stand because every time you let somebody hunt one of your stands here in Kansas, they kill a booner. So <laughs> yeah. I think it's time to stick around in one for a while. I'm also going to, I'm going to whoop him if he did. You like your new bow, eh? I like it pretty good. You know, I like it better when I'm here. Go kerthunk and. Come on, baby. I'm all right. You sure? <laughs> He's cool, level, man. man I thought, what about that the was wind? 11 on that one. <laughs> Every time I leave, somebody kills a good one. <laughs> oh, hey, I want to be a rock star. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not switching stands ever again. That joke is, that joke is, that joke is, that boy's a deer hunter right here. He's a deer hunter. Zzz. Sorry, buddy. Because I knew he went there, he went where I hunted the first afternoon. And I'm thinking, did you kill one? Question X, nothing, kill it. I'm like, I bet he killed one. I mean, Cause I was excited actually, but anyway. Did you see him out there? Yes, he's cool, man. I think dinner time's a big refuel. Everybody has fun, good groceries, good times, a lot of laughs. This is what's really strange. Blake's texting me, have you seen anything? And I said, a llama. There's a llama. A llama? Where we're hunting. Like a llama. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> I saw 25 does, and there was just two little tiny four corn bucks harassing them. Night, man. I was going, God, if there's a big buck around, they're coming out. It's out. Yeah. I know they were moving. Hey, pass here, Tom. Better salad. Hi, here, honey. It's heavy. Where are you from? South Dakota. It's on the Black Hills. But I live on the eastern part of the state right now. Are you east coast? East Coast, yeah, East Coast, South Dakota. I'm just not far from the ocean, the Dakota Ocean. For me, one of the coolest things about documenting our hunts is, is show and tell every night, 
every midday when you bring the footage back in and everybody gathers around and it just smiles like a big family reunion. <laughs> Munching on clover, free as feeling in the wind. I don't even do, do, do videos, I'll just do them from the tree stand. I'm not paying for videos anymore. I'm gonna do them right here on Michael's show. <laughs> 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 Red tail hawk, sitting on the limb. <laughs> <laughs> White tail buck deer, munching on clover. Hey, I know when times get tough, there's one or two things that can help pull you through. One of them is the hot new bow sights from Team Extreme. Crap, we just got a, I see a big buck coming. He's gonna get a meat missile to him. He's got a giant coming right toward him. The Fellowship of the Bone Collector has been brought to you by Kamir Deer, Remington, Scent Blocker, Realtree, and by Bad Boy. Closed captioning provided by Hunter Safety Systems. Stay safe. You gotta meet uh, Mick Nunt because uh, Mick Nunt. <laughs> you just never know what you're gonna see when you're rolling down the interstate. <laughs>